Can you see the screen? Yes, no. Yes. Okay, I successfully got emails from Devender Singh and um, this is the output. And education, this is good. And the output is also good, except my name. <laughs> That's fine. Please keep my name properly. Um, okay, so the data is divided into multiple items and we are good. And along with that, we have Kirtan. I think this is from team one. So here we have ID, communication, details, telecom, rentals, all are good. And here we see with the presentation. <coughs> so I'm just checking on how they have written the code and all. We'll see that later. Um, but today what we will do is uh, we will start with the nodes of preparation on how to work on the project. So you have completed the project few members uh, but how can you create that at an enterprise level okay Okay, so we are good with day 12 and we are getting with day 13. Today we will discuss on um, supply chain management complete project. Okay, so let's uh, start with all the stages. What is the life cycle? What is the life cycle? Mm, first is business uh, requirement. Business requirement. Analysis. Analysis. Okay. Six. Then. Then what else? So business after that, unless I believe second part will be like analysis. First. Uh, requirements discussion analysis. Okay. And development. Where is documentation? Initial documentation you should prepare and then we need to complete uh, development. What else? E UAT. After development there should be testing. Yeah, that UAT means. Then UAT. Then? Deployment. Deployment, Deployment and maintenance. Deployment and hypercare phase. Hypercare, then maintenance or change requests. Okay, so in the business requirement, so we discussed on like all the requirements are provided by the business. over call and uh, we need to give what is the expected time to complete this particular activity so in the analysis phase we need to make process complexity tracker okay pdd 
std initial version and the final version will be completed after deployment or you can say it can be taken up after the deployment or after the development only uh, but we need to give the final sdd version that should be handed over uh, for maintenance okay so first thing how many of you have created process complexity tracker like how did you find out this is easier process or uh, tough process how much time did you take to complete this one go ahead please answer sorry three hours three hours three hours for the development yeah one for development yeah mm. okay can you please share your screen okay okay see uh, there is a difference between creating enterprise projects and creating just code okay okay start the give me the access please yeah um i can see the screen i have the access as well start the project from main Start it. Start the project. Okay. Do you want me to explain the no, project? No. Just execute it. Okay. okay, guys. Now that we have started the project execution. this is executing i'm closing this so what should happen yeah it it will cause system exception and uh, uh, so you should try it where, where is the document for it how can yeah, someone know what your process is about how can someone know what your complete execution is about where is the documentation yeah document is not i'm not telling you that you haven't done it but i'm just trying to ask you questions like this is what will happen if you don't have proper steps followed okay now system exception happened no windows chrome exception application running attach browser ui path chrome but how will a business user know that chrome except execution failed yeah. yeah so they can be able to refer only if there is a document no not like that so even in the document even if you don't have the document just understand the process there is no way a business user will get to know the process got failed because there is no email sent there is no alert that's happening there is nothing that's happening right yeah okay okay so when you are execution or when you are working on a project it's not only about the code that you write but it's also about the best practices that you follow and how can you get the things done and make sure that see handling exceptions is also a success criteria for any kind of automation it's not only about sending a screenshot or creating an excel report let's start again Are you hearing any disturbance from my end? No. Yes, a noise is background noise is coming. Okay. Is 
is it okay now yeah okay thanks um now let's go ahead and try to make things correct or try to work on things in such a way that we have all the requirements covered and all the activities covered so when i so this is completed there is 30 percent of the transactions so one transaction completed so how are you adding q item what is the q item that you are trying to add um i have added the data from the excel sheet like in the requirement it has mentioned to add the data like to get the data from a config framework dot excel six excel okay and um, let me just uh, check with the dispatcher process and those items will be added into an orchestrator queue bulk add queue items then why only one item like input suppliers so okay you actually had a excel file uh, with supplier right. details am i right right, right. data it's an input input okay config framework dot excel no this is wrong like config framework is something that you should not write because there cannot be two configs right um, right but that is what the name mentioned in the requirement not sure but i will check again okay maybe they are asking use config in the framework not config framework as a file name but whatever you have done is the right approach there is no no to it okay so you took red read some items and you made everything and so let's just see the code how did you write and you have written everything in the dispatcher process right first run process you have added uh, so that the dispatcher runs only once and you are also opening the browser and hitting on new supplier but why are you hitting on new supplier okay on element appear you are checking just checking that this is successful but the mistake that you are making over here is open browser should be a init all in the init all applications like there should be a separate sequence for this one open okay. supplier change management website that should be a sequence name. okay okay uh, throw consecutive exceptions like this should be in here inside this particular workflow so when that happens what exactly will happen you will not have uh, like even if something fails it will come back as a business rule exception and system exception and it will try to log in that's what will happen okay okay yeah. so i can go you please go on mute okay. i'm stopping i'm sharing the screen from yeah thank you so much so here is what is uh, we need to do first we need to consider uh, what is the process cam complexity so there are different tools available in the web but when you are going to any organization you may have an excel file as your process complexity calculator there can be different tools that are proprietary to their own um, their own organization you can just understand the process but things will be mostly same process complexity rpa okay Okay, calculator. I'm just checking with calculator. Let's just see this. So everyone have their own calculators. That's fine. Um, 
Okay. So these are some of the factors that can help you to understand if your co process complex or not. Okay. Uh, use RP calculator. Now, how many rules is the process based on? Like how many rules does the process have? So when we are saying rules, how many steps you can take or how many applications that you can take? Okay. How to current? Like there are some rules. There are not too many rules for us. Like there are not 100 to 500, there are only 5 or 10 rules at the max. And uh, how do you use your process? Uh, how do you currently process data? It's a digital process. Is the process subject to change significantly in near term? Very stable. There is no change basically. Do you think the process is documented? Extremely documented we have, we, because we have the complete steps. Is it right or not? Okay, uh, do one thing if you want. Uh, if, uh, don't unmute. Rather than that, uh, just go ahead and type in the messages so that I can also see what's happening. Okay, I have the chat open. Yeah. Now let's see with uh, the other things. How many applications are used? Uh, we are using how many? Outlook was email excel and web application three applications are we are using step two what is the average annual cost for a single employee like how much is a single employee paid to do this process see when we are calculating on these things uh, there can be few jobs in such a way that if you are taking a data entry job a employee does only one thing he enters the data okay but if there are multiple things that a person is doing then it's a bit uh, on an average we will take it's not only that only this much amount i will give to one person so if i'm paying 10000 rupees for an employee then if this is only 10 or 20% of the work then i will give only 5000 for this that's not what exactly we calculate we actually calculate 10000 because we are eliminating the work from his roles okay so let's take this as an example as this is the dollar amount how much uh, this is again for annual annual price this is not a monthly price how many full-time employees does it fully support so for example we have five how often is your implement this process is it hourly daily let's assume that this is calculation uh, hourly oh shit okay so just see the results um your automation score is 90 percent so the complexity is very low okay so it's easy so at an average uh, if it is a low complex project how many days will it take or how many months will it take we discussed it earlier if you are asked for complexity process complexity how much time will you take just type in the chat type in the chat please. waiting don't be too muted right or wrong give the answer one month within a month two to three days okay what about others Thirty days, two days. Okay, so the problem that with Kirtan and uh, DLC is, see, you should not consider only the code development times. But if you see um, the code just now shared, there are no exceptions written, or there are no business rules that are available. If there is any change that's required, there is no change management that's available. So you need to make a complete com process complexity uh, tracker. So the current process complexity is for current project, it's low. It's of low complex. Okay. Now, 
you need to understand how much time will things will take so for analysis and the documentation maybe you can take business discussion happens uh, two days you can take okay now i'm taking this completely into analysis phase or initial phase i'll take analysis business requirement discussion also into analysis so analysis contains business discussions okay so let's just understand how this will work so analysis like pdd creation sdd creation everything can take on four working days or five working days so it's around a week okay see this is on and average we are taking so if you want to complete a pdd it can take around 6 uh, to 7 hours to complete all the screenshots and everything okay end to end complete pdd can some then take around 8 hours as well okay complexity calculator this pdd creation everything documentation also i am taking it into analysis phase okay now the development can take around 2 weeks or 1 week and the thing that i'm doing here is um i'm including testing or you can take this as one week one week of development and uh, testing and uat and deployment these three things can be taken in the next week like for testing you require a uh, two days for uat you can take around some 500 uh, data points or 500 items to be updated so it can take around uh, one day or two days if the approval is done then the deployment will be on one day and then hyper care phase will be depending on the data it can be around uh, one week or to 14 days one to four one week to 14 days or seven days to 14 days okay so here this is around a week here this is around a week and hyper care phase like for the deployment this is one day but uh, all together this is a week so all together we have close to 3 weeks of time that's completed okay the remaining time you can just have a uh, let's say that there are some uh, let's assume that the application requires some authentication to be given and authorizations to be given so when that things will happen now i will ask for an authentication and authorization and i will raise a ticket and someone will accept it and approve it in the next day and to get the access i will take one day so there can be uh, a grace period of one week altogether okay so the last maintenance uh, is a continuous process this is continuous process but the idea here is it will be around one month or at least three weeks of timeline did you understand the concept of how complete structure will work it's not only about the automation that we are doing but the complete project that we are doing yes no okay thanks so uh, we completed the cal complexity for this uh, process now let's create pdd there are some things or uh, tools that i use normally so one of that is uipath task capture so you can download this from online as well i'll give you the link to download so this is the link to download the task capture i'm just adding it over here okay now what this task capture is and how to work with this one see um we need to create a process i showed you how to do it with visio but normally we can capture the process using this with the screenshots as well okay let's capture the current process
or can just uh, wait for this to be started let me just go back so i can just capture the sequences but before that we will start add a sequence so what the sequence will do read input read input excel okay now after reading excel input then what we need to do if we have the data then we need to go for the next step what is the next step that we have sequence complete or update or create new item in um in the tool if there is no data then go ahead and send exception no data available to process this is like just a update and end the process okay this is the step and here what i will do i'll just capture the actions okay now while i capture i see what all i require i'm doing only basic stuff rps samples is it rps samples website so we need to work on few things like we need to open the website click on this one start capture click on supply change management so this will come as a step like okay um click supply change management okay and the action description uh navigate to supply chain management tool okay next the next thing that we need to do is click on new supplier so if you see if i am going on that it will stop click new supplier okay then add internal name next add external name okay next upload file next select industry okay um check recurrent supplier so in this way let's go ahead and understand that okay things are completed now i just want to hit on stop okay now if you see each and every process that's there like if the data exist whatever we need to do everything happened here and if you observe there are seven actions and on to all together the bot if the bot is trying to do it it will take around 20 seconds okay it's an assumption basically and on the right side you can see this click activity is there internal name you need to type and everything so after completing let's assume that we we also took the screenshot we need to what we need to do send report or uh, send report to email and then go and end the process after that you need to just end the process okay so how many end states do we have here how 
how many n states do we have see that is the example that i am taking as you can understand two 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 but the ideal scenario if you are going directly with re framework you can also directly map it to this end state as well that's fine we are just trying to make things in such a way that this is a high level uh, representation of our data okay now in our organization this is this will not be as simple as this so we need to add more complexity or we need to make sure that we have correct things in place for that we will add something called swim lanes horizontal swim lane so here we will clearly mention what are the tools excel now see there is a single simple process that we have but we are trying to add complexity or trying to make sure that things are mapped correctly add swim lane here what i am doing here this is uh, supply change management website and add a swim lane this is excel all the excel activities now just see i am starting here but i will read the excel input here create a new item in the tool will go here if the data exists should go here and send exception email should go here or uh, we also need to have something called outlook email mail send exception screenshot here okay you can add end process in the top or anywhere else that's fine this is okay send report email send exception email you can just check that this is what we require okay now here between create a new item and tool let's add one more sequence this is download csv okay now after adding a csv what do we need to do for each let's go and see with this particular item final output so this is communication so we have business industry for each industry industry create sheet okay and add sheet specific data to the sheet to the sheet okay now we are just adding few other things so that we can get the thing clear now here if you observe we are sending this email we are sending that email now if there is any exception where are we handling let's say that while reading the excel file excel file is here this is one more excel file see why am i maintaining two excels here this is input this is output so if possible i can also do something like this like if possible i will just add it here i will just add it here i'll take this excel to the top that's fine i can do that okay i'll create this one see we can do anything that we require the only understanding that we need to have is this particular item scm tool only understanding that we need to have is we need to make things clearer so that people will be able to understand what are we doing now we have only two scm okay okay this goes in here this goes in here this goes in here and i have it here okay so let's see with this one here i'll just try to mark it on the right so that this is more easier to understand or mark it on the left okay now see the process is changed now but again 
we are still in the first stage like if there is any uh, there is, read the excel input do some activity and send the details now if there is any exception in case of exception okay then we need to send emails so how can we map it uh, maybe we can just see if we, there is any um, file insert i'm just trying if there is anything that i can add um, okay let's see the download csv we have um, and in this let's keep a decision box okay so this is uh, just to make make sure that we understand exceptions properly that's it nothing else just add this to the top mail let's increase this one more okay so send email send report to email this is end process okay now industry specific data this sequence comes in down download csv if download successful okay so if download successful then go ahead and update or uh, do next activity yes this is yes case so what if download failed then what should we do sequence take screenshot and send email so this is the condition for no okay and after completing do we need to go for the next item okay let's assume that we are completing the process Now, are you able to understand how did we change a simple process diagram into a swim lane? So each and every block is a swim lane. This is horizontal swim lane. In the same way, we can have vertical swim lanes as well. Did you get it? No. Yes. No. and the mother okay see the best part using uh, using this particular tool is we will be able to create ui path or okay so this is just i'm just giving out some information and the author is again vajra okay let's hit on next i can select any pdd template i can create my own template that's fine image size also i can select image quality i can do that's fine so i'll select any of the two any of the one template but if you want to create your own templates for your organization you can also do that i am creating this export okay so normally i have github so we'll go with github in the next uh, few days but i just want to show you the easiest way 
Okay, show in Explorer. So this is RP developer in 30 days, Vajrang and add new folder. So from today, everything that I do will be in GitHub. You can download that. Okay. So in this, we'll create new folder. Supplier change management. I'm keeping all my documentation over here basically. So the website, the place goes here. GitHub. I'll share you how can we do that if you are already having GitHub knowledge, then you can obviously take it. But this is my PDD. Clearly understand this is process definition document. Open file. Okay. Now, if you observe, the data is already pre-filled with some information that I have given, but there is much more information that we need to add. Okay. So let's go ahead and make it a bit bigger in size. Okay. Now, if you see here, what does it contain? It contains as is process. What is the as is process that we have? What is the to be process that we have created? So, whatever we have created till now, I think this is a as is process. Okay. So, what is the difference between as is process and to be process? Can someone tell me what is the difference between as is process and to be process? Because everywhere we can, we are just reading the information and we are updating. Then how can a as is process be different from the to be process? As is process is uh, done manually and uh, to be process is done by the robot. How can you say or how can you differentiate two things? Like, okay, I will have two diagrams basically for as is process a separate diagram for to be process a separate diagram. How can we differentiate? Okay, you are, now Sangeet, you are right and partially not exactly the thing. Exception handling, we will, if we are going with manual process also, we'll do exception handling. That's not what it to be process is. Okay, now if you see this process or if you see this thing, if we want to convert this one, let's say that I will just save it, file save, and I will save it in this particular SSP. This is as is process. Save. Okay, home. Um, let me just copy the same as this process and let's change it to to be. So this is a copy and current as this process. Let's change it to a to be process. So now uh, let's go back to this particular steps. Now, is the initial PDD completed or not? As this process map to be process map stakeholder details step by step representation ok 
okay so all these things we need to complete now as this process it is completed but if you observe in to be process there are few things that we need to add in as this process we don't have a concept called dispatcher and performer is it right there is no concept of queues is it right there is no concept of robots okay yok so now how can we convert this particular process into a to be process so now this is sublet task capture i hope that this is a new one back okay so i'll just change this one our uh, title is sjd submit save okay sorry this is not sjd this is a uh, pdd to be process to be process okay submit so what i'll do uh, if the data exist create a new sheet and do this one but there are some things that we need to do let's take that process in our visio visio is kind of easier way for me to represent so that's the reason i'm going back to visio so let's go with the uh, rp challenge week 2 uh, week 3 okay requirement doc is there so visio process flows and the important or the best thing about um task capture is you can also export it as a visio diagram file export as a diagram jpg okay i cannot export as a diagram but i can import as a visio diagram over here okay let's not go to that thing then so let's go to visio diagram so this is process flows so here i am trying to draw a to be process okay but here in to be process there are things that we need to know uh, rename as is uh, this is dispatcher scm dispatcher and we also will have rename scm performer okay now let's try to add few basic things nothing else i am seeing some basic shapes flow chart start start or end i'll just copy and paste it again so that this will represent the end start and this is end read file from shared folder or uh, decision block i'll just add this i'll just start decision and let's map it here data fetch successfully okay so if that is done then go ahead and add items to orchestrator queue and the queue name is scm okay so after adding the items if again now here if data updated data added successfully if it is success then go ahead and end the process okay so what if the data load is failed this is success if the data loading to orchestrator is failed send exception email okay 
now i'll go and i will check over here now if the data is if the data is not able to read successful then send it again send exception email i'll just try to add it on the right side okay and then we will have it here this is yes this is no or failed okay now are you able to understand the to be process this is a to be process for dispatcher only is it clear now for dispatcher what are we doing a to be process yes no all right okay now let's go with the same thing with performer now here we'll go with performer uh, we'll keep some decision blocks or we'll see something but in to be process uh, start stop we'll have start and we'll have stop okay this is start and what are we doing um initialize web application scm web application so for for our understanding we are just writing like okay we will write a decision block here but every time we will not add a decision block um application successfully logged in. logged in okay so here if failed then send take screenshot send exception email okay when this should be done when the application is not loaded successfully if the application is loaded successfully then get one transaction item from scm queue okay now if this is successful okay i'll just copy this and paste it so what i'll do i'll just have a flow here got item success transaction item uh, available okay now if the transaction item is available then go ahead and this is the process state now um add items or add details to scm now here again we'll just see if that is successful or not updated successful okay so let's see this one step this is another step this is another step okay so if the if there is no transaction item so can we continue yes no can we continue if there is no transaction item we'll take two more minutes and we'll close for today okay yeah because there are no transaction items so we cannot continue further now here what we can do we can just add no transactions remaining okay and after no transaction items remaining what we can do we can just go ahead and then add end process close scm application 
okay now this is transaction item is nothing if the transaction item this is not nothing again this is coming into re framework again just go ahead and quickly observe this is coming as not nothing it means that there is some information to complete okay now here application logged in successful if there is failed then go ahead and close it and here so failed application update success okay this is update successful if update is failed okay for some reason uh, the application got stopped then again take an exception screenshot let's uh, this is a system exception now this is a system exception So I'm just trying to keep these things here and close application, control Z. I'm just trying to add close application here on the left side. I'm just trying to make things similar as of RE framework. That's it. Okay. No transaction. Take a screenshot and update. Close application. Then after completing the application, then go ahead and stop the process. okay so these are the steps that things are changing for example we can also have something like um, if update successful is done but update failed due to system exception and update failed due to business rule exception there is one more thing like there can be a business rule exception as well right So can that be a condition? So this is BRE, steps for BRE. And then we need to go and get the next item. Go and get a new more new item again. So this is our to be process now. Let's just add everything. This is 14 and trying to update everything auto format design auto size view i hope there should be some auto format option if it is not there then we cannot do anything size auto size themes okay okay diagram layout let's just use a control Z. this seems to be good for me so did you guys understand the difference between to be process and as is process now this is my complete to be process both together is my to be process did you understand yes no okay so what I'll quickly do I will just go ahead file um, save as export as image download as image SCM dispatcher PNG this is fine and this one performer file export save as download as download as image this is performer download downloading the process so these are my downloads I have two now this should be updated somewhere right where is that this will be updated in the to be process now here in this to be process let's go ahead and see to be process we need to add these two maps this is my dispatcher process and this is my performer process Okay. now I just need to mention each and every step out of this one like if there is any business rule exception I need to mention here if there are system exceptions I need to mention here application exceptions we need to mention and how the reporting will be done like okay I have this report process logs or should I send it daily 
where should they be available monthly error logs so all these things are available for you so what i'll do i'll just save this one into our sheet or into our um teams folder what you need to do is i'll close it for today you just try to update whatever you can read everything together and update and if you observe we also have all the screenshots updated i did not add any single screenshot but all the screenshots are updated okay okay guys please unmute and talk now the recording is done so i'll close this and i will add it so this is today's task for you maybe you can set and update i am not giving um, or you can you can just use the single file and multiple teams can update i'll just add it over here you can take a copy and update file yeah these are my as is process to be process this is pdd just add in the pdd you can copy the pdd into your folders and add the details and give me the details any questions vajrang i have a question yes, i can please uh, i have already spent enough time on the screenshots don't expect me to do each and everything you need to do it so if there is something missing please do it um yeah sorry sir yeah i can understand it yeah i thought that if you are if you need to create a new tab for that uh, final reporting thing okay fine sanket go ahead oh, okay i understand that yeah okay, that in you. the business requirement uh, like for 5 days now like you said in the document yeah yeah that will i believe it is taken care by ba team only na that business team there is, all, i think not, that not always not always uh, see here in this uh, particular activity um let me just go back see sometimes there can be only one uh, one team member i initially when i started rpa i used to do from pdd creation from analysis phase everything till the deployment phase along with documentation okay now if the organization is big then it's fine but if the organization is uh, small and if the team is very small this normally will be done by the ba or developer or uh, developer sometimes the lead architect architect or whoever development okay. uh, ba cannot yeah, do it this mean uh, doesn't matter like uh, developer uh, like only uh, developer need to work on std everything you need to do like if yes. it is required yes 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 oh. okay so then you should knowledge have ba thing yes. then uh, pdd thing yes std should always be developed by uh, developer only because only developer will know how a solution will be available right okay so for deployment we will have two teams uh, that is uh, development team a uh, testing team because they need to give the approval and uh, infrastructure team so to deploy and uh, orchestrator maintenance team okay so all together this is not like okay i will do only one activity i cannot do any other activity you need not tell that if you go for the interview you can say that initially when we started there are no separate teams for me so i need to do there is no other option than me sitting and doing each and everything if you are saying something like this then obviously they will get to know that you have complete understanding of the projects is it right or not sanket yes yes i got it and one more thing there is a uh, sometime they will ask tdd what is what is the tdd something like this what is that one technical TDD. design document Okay, it is differ from STD, like it uh, like same. Almost. Not exactly, because most of the things will be available in it. Uh, so if you see technical design document, it's more about when you are starting it in the beginning, like how much RAM the CPU should have in the bot, and um, if you are creating a new orchestrator, what is the um, what is the RAM size, what is the processor size, and what is the SQL server that we need to add? All these things will happen. But once you start everything, then now uh, obviously we will have only pdd send sdds for a process okay uh, and in the in the current scenario you can say uh, the tdd is not being prepared 
because we already have orchestrator and all the robots set up. Uh, but if the robot, if a new robot need to be deployed, there is a standard uh, requirement like there should be an 8 GB or 4 GB RAM uh, with a uh, 5 core processor. Uh, but again, those are the VMs that will be given to us from the uh, infrastructure team. They are already uh, in place. So we are just working on the existing infrastructure. So you need to un also understand how to answer those questions. Good that you have brought yeah. this question. Okay. I got that. Okay.